Okay, this is quick tips. Quick tips. We're going to be converting a 2D logo into a 3D logo. And what I have here is a logo with a background removed so that it's transparent. So from here, I'm going to export this. Make sure transparency is checked. We want to make sure it's a file type PNG. Uh, pick a folder to locate and then navigate to that folder. And then also navigate to your internet. And I'm using Convertio.co, but you can use any PNG to DXF converter. All you would do is drag your PNG into the converter, and then you're going to be able to download that image back. As long as you download that image in a location that you know, you can drag that DXF file into your elevation if you're in, say, Chief Architect. And then the import drawing assistant will come up and I want to make sure I'm converting lines with shared endpoints into polylines. I'm going to go ahead and drop this into my layer CAD default and then click on through and next. It will import into this elevation. I'm going to go ahead and drag this edit handle to resize this import and then I can zoom in on that and do a little bit of cleanup. Now you notice when I resize, we're seeing fill in some of the lettering in this logo. Now I need to go ahead and take some time and clean that up if I want to clean that up. Namely, that I want to take something such as this R that is a closed polyline and in the edit menu use the subtraction tool to subtract that middle. Now that R is prepped to be converted. Just to show the conversion I'm just going to highlight this upper section that is all the rabbit logo here and then I can either convert it to a backsplash where I could even erase some of the finish layer of my wall material, or I can turn it into a polyline solid. My P solids default to 12 inch in my template plan. I'm gonna go ahead and limit this back down to say two inches, but you can see we've already got our 3D logo. And this is edited live, so you know. I'm gonna navigate to my plan view, I can highlight all of my P-Solids there, convert this to a symbol, make it a furnishing, and then in back in my 3 window, once that conversion's done and we get a symbol specification dialog, we can place it onto the wall again. If you save this to your library, you could of course change the default height that this will place at. That's it for this quick tip. Hope you enjoyed.